Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for Illinois students sponsored by the Illinois Association for College Admissions Counseling and StriveScan. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I just want to give you all a few housekeeping items. You can see that also on the screen there as well. Um, you can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at IACAC.org. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website, IACAC.org. And now I'd like to turn everything over to our presenters. How's it going, everybody? My name is Zach. I'm a mission counselor with Missouri Western State University in St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, we're located about 50 minutes outside of Kansas City. Um, and, you know, it's about, you know, five hours from like St. Louis in Illinois. So not too far from home, also not too close. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here and we'll kind of go over this PowerPoint here. So by the numbers, Missouri Western, we were founded in uh, 1915. We have around 4,000 undergrad students, so we're not a huge university. We're also not a small university by any means. 89% of our courses have 30 or fewer students. So I know that's what a lot of students kind of look into. You know, I, they don't want to be a name. Uh, they want to be a name and not a number at a university. Uh, we have 38 states and 30 countries represented. We have 70 plus majors and minors. Um, so a lot of different options for students. 91% uh, of our faculty have a doctorate degree. So we have no student teachers. It's all professors that are teaching your courses, which I know a lot of students kind of look into as well. And then 92% of our incoming freshmen receive uh, grants or scholarships. So we go, we throw a lot of money at students. So, and I'll kind of talk about that here in a second. Next slide here. So what kind of sets us apart from other universities is we have about five new initiatives um, that we started this year. Our first big one that we started was our Center for Service. So we have this unique program where students can receive free college credit for doing community service. So for every 40 hours of community service students do, you receive one free credit hour that goes towards your degree. So you do 120 hours of community service, you basically get one free elective class that you don't have to pay for. And it's not required, it's not mandatory. You actually self-enroll in that class yourself. So if that's something that you wanna do, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, professors who teach your courses are also gonna be your advisors in your major. So when you get your 300, 400 level courses, your professor for that class is more often not gonna be your advisor. So you're gonna get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with them. We're a teach first institution. Um, our faculty do conduct research and you also being a student, you also can kind of um, join in on that research as well. But of course their primary role is to teach. Uh, the 17 to one student to faculty ratio is, is huge. Like I said, you're gonna be in small class sizes, which is nice. Um, the largest lecture hall we have on our campus holds like 115 students. And that would be like a biology, like a general biology or general chemistry class or something like that. And so you won't, you know, if you have dual credit, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but, you know, the 17 to one is really nice for students. This slide just kind of talks about, you know, our different degree offerings. Uh, what's unique about Missouri Western is you don't have to declare a major until you hit 60 credit hours. So right around the start of your junior year is when you'll decide what you want to do. So you're going to have two years to kind of figure that out. Um, the nice thing is, too, we're an applied learning institution. So what that means is you're going to have to do some sort of applied learning um, in the field before you can graduate. Um, we also take dual credit, AP, CLEP, IB, um, you know, as whatever transfer credit you have, you know, bring it to Missouri Western. Um, we also have our career development center. So if you're kind of, you know, kind of, you know, in between what you want to do, you can talk with them and they can also help you out as well. My favorite part about Missouri Western is our Gold Fridays. This is a new initiative. So, you know, the traditional class schedule is Monday through Friday classes at Missouri Western. We're a four day week. So we have classes Monday through Thursday. Uh, we're taking the, you know, traditional Tuesday, Thursday classes are an hour and 20 minutes. We're using that for our Monday through Thursday classes. Um, so that's really nice where students are only on campus four days a week. Um, and then that Friday, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can kind of see there, 
you know, you can knock out your center for service hours, you know, on those Fridays. Uh, if you have, when you do your internship, you can knock those out, tutoring. If you want to, you know, have an early weekend, go back home, you can do that as well. Uh, professors are still on, so you, even if you want to sleep in, I know a lot of students kind of utilize that. Um, you know, professors are still on campus, you know, from 8 to 4.30 on Friday. So if you have any questions on any of your classes, you know, you can talk with your professors. Our biology department, they that bottom bullet point there, the portal grant project, they kind of uh, created that. So they do a lot of that stuff over the summertime. So what's nice with us having Fridays off is students are able to, you know, still work over the summertime with their professors. They can transition that into uh, the fall and spring, of course, on Fridays. Um, so we are known as the uh, Applied Learning Institution of Missouri. So you can see there, students will do at least one. If not, you could do all of those bullet points there. Uh, internship, service learning, study abroad, research, leadership, portal. Uh, my major, I graduated uh, Missouri Western in 2017. My major required me to do six internships before I could even graduate. Uh, my first year at Missouri Western, I was able to do three different internships. And then my final year, I did one 465 hours that I got to travel the West Coast on the West Coast working for the American Junior Golf Association based out of Atlanta. We put on junior golf tournaments for the best junior golfers in the world. So that was really nice. You know, a lot of universities, you know, sometimes, you know, bigger universities and whatnot, you know, you can't even get in the field doing internships or even lab work until your senior year. Sometimes you can't even do that because they're, you know, limited space and whatnot. At Missouri Western, pretty much from day one, you'll get to be out in the field, which is nice. So a lot of applied learning for students. Residence life, we have six residence halls. We have no, we don't call them dorms because, you know, dorms, you know, are community bathrooms and whatnot. Uh, no more than four girls to a bathroom, four guys to a bathroom. Um, every suite, like I said, has its own bathroom. We have 24 hour security. We have Missouri Western Police Department on our campus. They patrol campus every five to 10 minutes, very safe campus. We have free Wi Fi and cable in all of the rooms. Uh, we have $25 to park for the full year. Um, and this is Scanlon Hall. So this is where the Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs, stay uh, because Missouri Western, we have the Chiefs have their training camp on our campus. So Scanlon Hall is right here. You might, you know, stay in the room that Patrick Mahomes or Travis Kelsey stayed in. That'd be pretty cool. Um, and we have two other uh, resident halls for freshmen to stay in as well. And then, of course, we have other residence halls on our campus as well. We have Chick-fil-A on our campus, Einstein Bagels, Subway, the Roastery, Starbucks, Pod, Max's Martin, the Dining Hall. So a lot of places to eat. Um, there's around nine places. Also in St. Joe, there's Uber Eats and DoorDash. So if you wanted to, you could be in like your chemistry class or your math class and you could order, you know, DoorDash and you could DoorDash it to your room if you wanted to. So you should never go hungry at Missouri Western. So we have a lot of cool stuff on our campus. We have over 700 acres on our campus. So we have a large acreage campus. We have free recreation facilities. We have a walking trail. We have a renovated swimming pool. We have a fitness center on our campus, a free fitness center. Like I said, we are the summer training camp for the Chiefs. We have Bushman Planetarium, Frisbee Golf Course, our on-campus health center, as well as our Center for Academic Support. That is our free tutoring that we offer students on our campus. Missouri Western has a lot of opportunities for students to get involved um, on campus. We have 90 plus student organizations, 20 plus intramural sports. I, when I was at Missouri Western, I really love the social aspect of college, going out and getting involved. I was involved in Greek life, intramurals, Western Activities Council. Uh, we have Student Government Association on the campus. Um, and we, one of our new initiatives is eSports. So we have an eSports, competitive eSports program now. So we have scholarships for that for players, coaches, and managers. Uh, we are in the process of building a $400,000 uh, eSport arena on our campus. We had a donor, a generous donor, wrote a check for $400,000 and he goes, have at it. Um, so we're in the process of building our cool eSports arena. Um, what I tell students is, you know, the more, you know, organizations you can get involved in, the better. Um, and also getting involved in your major organization as well, because you're going to meet a lot of different students. And those are the students that you'll be with, you know, throughout your whole time at Missouri Western. We are NCAA Division II. Uh, we are known as, our conference is the MIAA Conference. We play in the MIAA. You can kind of picture the MIAA like the SEC for Division I, toughest conference in the country. Those are all of our major sports. I know we have a lot of students, you know, from Illinois and women's lacrosse is pretty big in Illinois. So we have 
now a women's lacrosse uh, team. We are the first public university in the state of Missouri to have that. The other two universities are private, so we're the first public. So we're pretty excited about that. Uh, we have what's called max experience. So every single student gets free admission in every home football and basketball game. You can sign up to four family members. They get free tickets to those games. And then you being a student, you get free food at those games. So you don't have to pay for food, uh, which is really nice. Here is a map of where we are located. You can kind of see uh, there's around 76,000 uh, people in St. Joe, 45 minutes from downtown Kansas City. At one time, uh, St. Joe was probably within the past seven years was known as the largest fast food per capita area in the country. Uh, I kid you not, there's any fast food you can imagine. It's in St. Joe, it's crazy. Uh, we're 35 minutes from the airport downtown in Kansas City, 26 miles of Parkway, uh, we have a lot of coffee shops in uh, St. Joe, so I'm not sure if you guys are big coffee drinkers, but we have a lot of coffee. Um, and then every Missouri Western student with their student ID gets to ride the St. Joe bus system for free. Um, the nice thing is our location in Kansas City. So when it does come time to do your internships or clinicals or student teaching or something along those lines, you know, Kansas City is only 45 minutes away. So we're, you know, we're, we're a college in town, not necessarily a college town. But St. Joseph is a big enough town where there is a lot of opportunities to do those type of things, but Kansas City is so close. Now, a big thing is obviously cost and attendance. So you guys are lucky in the fact that we have what's called Griffin rate. So 14 states get in-state tuition. So you being Illinois students, you would qualify for in-state tuition based on that Griffin rate. So you don't have to worry about those out-of-state numbers there. Um, you can see for tuition, fees, room and board for the full year, it's around 16392 And that's before any scholarships or financial aid or anything like that. So um, a lot of, a very, very affordable. The only thing this doesn't include is your books, which books can run, you know, 350 to 1,000, depending on how many um, classes that you have. Oops, I kind of jumped down here. This is our Griffin Guarantee Scholarship. So this is our last big initiative. Um, this is our guaranteed scholarship. So we are test optional now. I should have said that in the beginning. Um, so students have a 2.7 GPA or higher. You're automatically accepted. This scholarship starts at a 3.0 and it goes all the way up to a 4.0. Um, we have students will start anywhere between $500 and $3,500, depending on what that GPA is. And you can see for every 30 credit hours, students get automatic upgrade. So sophomore year hits, you get $1,000. Your junior year, you get $500. And your senior year, you get another $500 um, on top of your scholarship. And as long as you stay above a 2.0, you have this scholarship till you graduate. Here is the chart. So as you can see there, 3.0 to 4.0, you can kind of see the ranges on what you might start with. Now I will say uh, for every point above a 20 on the ACT, you do get an extra $100 on top of your scholarship. So if you do have an ACT score on file, great. Uh, we also um, super score the ACT as well. So, and this is kind of like an example here. So this first example is for like Missouri students, uh, but this bottom example here, um, you can see Jill Smith has a 3.9 GPA. So her scholarship is $2,500 to start out with. And then she has a 29 on the ACT. So she gets over $1,000 in that ACT incentive there. And you can see her scholarship starts out at 3,500. And then over the four years, that 3,500 totals out to be around 18,500. Uh, so that's awesome. Like I said, for every point above a 20, you get an extra $100 on top of your scholarship. The nice thing is too, um, we scholarships will stack. So if you have outside scholarships, those will stack. So you're like your community, organization, a job, anything like that, it'll all stack on top of each other. The nice thing is this is um, a guarantee and it's not competitive. So this is just based on your GPA and or ACT. So you're not competing with other students. Um, this is strictly based on that. We do have competitive scholarships as well. And that application did open up in November. So this is for seniors here. We have our application is free. So it's free to apply. We have no essay. Like I said, we are test optional. If you have ACT scores, send those into us. The application for the competitive scholarship opened up on October 1, and that deadline is February 1. We also have the FAFSA. It, of course, is open. It's not mandatory for students, but I encourage you know, any student to apply for the FAFSA because you never know, you know how much money you, know, you might get from the government, which is nice. 
this is our last slide. Um, you know, this is just, you know, represents our student culture at Missouri Western. Uh, our big thing is together we succeed. Um, so together we'll succeed with you. This is my contact information here. Um, my phone number here, my work phone number, as well as my cell phone number. And there's my email address here. This is a QR code. So if you have your phones out, uh, you can take a picture of this and we can, this will go right to our website where you can put in information to get more um, information. Um, I, you know, being on the other side of, you know, the table when I was, a, when I was a student, I knew I was going to go to college. I didn't know how I was going to pay for it. I just thought I was going to get student loans, which is something, you know, that I did on my own. Um, so I'm going to be paying those off till I'm probably 65, which is, you know, fine with me. Um, but me being on the other side, I definitely encourage students to apply for as many scholarships as you can. Because the more money that you can bring into college, you know, the less money that you're going to have to take out, you know, later down the road. Um, so I think it's, you know, awesome. And like I said, that guarantee, it is guaranteed to you because about 35% of incoming freshmen across the country lose their scholarship within the first, uh, you know, semester of classes because college is a whole different ball game. It is a lot tougher. Um, a lot of different scholarships have, you know, you have to renew like a certain GPA. And if you even fall one point below that GPA, then you lose your scholarship and we don't want that to happen. So this guarantee, as long as you stay academically eligible, you have the scholarship till you graduate. So I know that was a lot of information kind of thrown at you, you know, in a short amount of time. But if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, contact me or anything like that. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Um, so I'm here for you. So that's all I have today. Hey, Zach, I don't think there's any questions coming from anyone. So we can go ahead right, and perfect. we can go ahead and wrap things up. But I just want to mention before we go, you know, I'm thanking again, Zach, for, for your presentation. We're, we're excited to hear all this information. Um, well, thank you all for joining us. Uh, when you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this is just, again, one of many sessions that you can, can attend that we're hosting. So you can find more information at iacac.org uh, for those other sessions. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session recording on the iacac.org uh, website. Thank you again so much for joining us and have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.